So I've been talking about for two years now, roughly two years, that Amazon will block all third-party apps. But the, the major question was, how are they going to accomplish this? And we really finally have our answer. Now, this is going to be a bit of a banger full of news that some of you may not want to hear, but there is a little silver lining while we work through this video. So much like Roku has their own independent operating system that makes it almost impossible to sideload third party apps. Now, there are some concessions and some ways of doing it. However, it's not as simple as Android based systems where all these APKs already exist and we can just load them on. Originally, I thought this would be pretty tough for Amazon to do because they have to create their own system. They already have a huge collection of devices that are available. So it, it just, the juice might not be worth the squeeze in this case. However, it now looks like we have definitive proof that Amazon will be moving away from the Android based ecosystem into their own custom operating system. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you love this kind of content, learning about tech stuff, check out reviews, streaming advice, this is the channel for you. Hit the subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. There's gonna be a lot of news in this one. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna get right into things and just kind of get into the topic of what this is gonna include and how far along they are and uh, how this is gonna mess with your Fire TV ecosystem. And I'll, I'll start by saying it's, it's annoying because the fact of the matter is people are already entangled in the Amazon ecosystem and very far entangled at this point. So switching over to a new OS means your old ones won't be updated, which that, that can be seen as a good thing or a bad thing. But as we update, it's gonna take generations and generations until people are fully entangled in their new custom OS, uh, which can definitely mess with the landscape of how your smart home is messed up. So it, it does seem a little bit here that Amazon is kind of shooting themselves in the foot if they do end up 100% going through with this. Now reports are saying that as early as 2024, we could start to see some devices add in this new OS. And let's really quickly talk about what it is. So it's codenamed Vega, and apparently they've been working on it since 2017. And one of the developer has actually said most of the development of this OS is already complete. And what that means is at this point, they're done the framework. They probably even have apps created for it, but now they have to convince the big developers. It's nothing for somebody like Netflix or uh, Disney Plus to make an app for this. That, that's not an issue. They're gonna develop this in days, it'll be done. But the problem is all those other individual developers have to go and rebuild their apps from scratch because it's not Android based. And that's why I love devices that are all in the Android ecosystem because you can easily move your apps around. And this also means an app such as Kodi or any of the other third party apps would probably have to be rebuilt with different framework or there would have to be some sort of Android emulator that could be put on it. But I don't even think that's possible at this point. Now, Vega is gonna be based off of Linux, which some other systems already are, but how they base it and how they create it and what level of customizability, customize, customization that Amazon gives users is really in their hands. And that's where from the things they've done in the past, we know that isn't necessarily going to be a good thing. In fact, it wasn't long ago that I covered Amazon was blocking custom launchers and some other apps from being used on their devices. And I don't think Amazon likes copyright infringement, so I'm not even talking about third-party apps here. But Amazon's entire job and what they want you to do on your device is stay on your home screen and stay on their partnered apps as much as possible. Just last week, we talked about Amazon integrating more ads. They want you to view those ads so they make more money off of the device that they already sold you. So by blocking a custom launcher, it keeps you in their ecosystem. Even when you use other partnered apps, Amazon from the app store gets commission, right? It's the same as Apple. Apple takes a certain percentage of in-app purchases, of app purchases, and that's essentially what Amazon wants to do here. So that this won't be necessarily just for Amazon devices. In fact, they may sell this for other systems such as TVs and anybody else who wants a smart operating system, kind of like Google does with their Google TV OS, um, or that they do with the Android based operating system, which is just an open source that anybody can create off of. So this gives Amazon in general, way more control and way more ability to keep you locked in their ecosystem instead of going elsewhere to get your content or to view stuff. And that's obviously a problem. Now I understand I usually talk about this from like 
a hardcore streamer perspective, right? Somebody that like likes to do things with their device. Not everybody's like that. In fact, the majority of Fire TV users, I'm sure are perfectly fine with how their device is used. And that's not an issue for them. But the fact of the matter is, is all those apps that are already created are going to have to be reframed. And I think AFTV News says it really well right here when he says, the new OS advantages seem to be greatly outweighed by the disadvantages the to a new os seem to greatly outweigh the advantages yes because they're so dependent on these third-party apps that they're gonna have to create like they said in this other article as well incentives to have companies and developers create apps for their new operating system so the amount of things you'll be able to do on this fire stick or on your fire tv when they introduce vega is going to be first of all uh, let, let's also let's also mention that terrible name Vega. Come on, guys. I, I hope they maybe it's just the project code name. Not good. Not good. Uh, the ability and what you're going to be able to do is going to be so much less than what you can already do with your Fire TV. Now, will Amazon be able to do some more customization and add pop ups for you? Absolutely. Right. They're going to find ways to maximize their profit on it. But that's the only reason for switching is they want to find ways to maximize their partnerships and their profits going forward. So yeah, I, I just think it's dumb. And I think that it kind of shoots them in the foot and it really alienates a lot of people that have invested into the Fire TV and the Amazon ecosystem and is definitely going to mess with their experiences going forward. And I, I hope for once I can say that this is going to shoot the company in the foot and they are going to fail because of this. But I've said that about Netflix in the past when they raised their prices, integrated password sharing, uh, got rid of the ability to use it on multiple TVs, created an ad supported tier, but they actually just made more money off it. So if we're being real, they'll probably just make more money. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to support the content, uh, I really do suggest you guys purchase the VPN in the link down below in the description. It's it's literally so cheap and I'm not just saying that. You can get 49% on their 12 month plan. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, get all of your money back. You can use it to unlock Netflix. You can use it to unlock Disney Plus, Prime Video, get content from other countries, use free streaming apps, protect yourself while online. And they also have a brand new password manager that comes with your subscription. So they're really loading up on the features for such a cheap price. And it also supports me. I do get a kickback. So it's a great way to support the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. And let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. I'll see you guys later.